Hello and um, welcome to another sort of transition transmission, sort of in between -y talk. Yeah, I've got one of my tops on. The purple murder devil cat thing. But I like this one, it's quite comfy, it's nice and flowy and comfy, so everything works. This one's more just um, a little bit of a side talk, TED talk, whatever you want to call it, more of how to broach the subject with parents or guardians or, you know, at least elders in that respect, you know, like family members. Mostly because I'm going to be doing a big talk with my mom in a few days, so I'm going to be going through with her the timeline of everything and all of the other bits and pieces. So for me, this is a subject which is also going to help me because I'm thinking my ways might work. Mostly just do the gentle things with the, the talking and especially, you know, making joke of things. Yeah, don't don't go in all heavy handed with it and don't go in with your, with your boots on. You know, be gentle with it. Yeah, right, sometimes it might seem more like being gentle with it doesn't always work, but hey, you, sometimes you do need to be a little more gentle with it. For those who are asking what's in the corner, this was a face mask. This has now been turned into um, a bit of a pin badge holder. As you can see, you've got like one fox and then zero fox. I don't give, yeah, I give zero fox. And then Foxy Nerd, just cause, you know? I need to find somewhere to put them, but I haven't really got a place to put them like I did at the old place. But I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, mostly just, just if you've got understanding parents or understanding family members that you can talk to, you know, have a laugh, have a joke, make it easy. Don't make it all heavy all the time. Don't go in straight away with all the heaviness. Because this is the way I'm thinking is, I'm going to do the light-hearted stuff and make jokes of it and, you know, have more fun with it. You know, make it so that it's not all serious and that it doesn't seem like you're, like, piling blame on people and stuff. You know, because there is no one there to blame for things. You are who you are, that's just the way that is. It's, you know, being worried about how your parents are going to react. Yes, that's natural, but they will understand in time. Especially if they are more difficult to talk to, then sometimes they may come around, sometimes they might, they might not, but they will understand parts. There are obviously going to be things that they will never understand because they don't inhabit your body. So you are going to have to be, sorry, I'm constantly going to be playing with my hair because I can see it the screen. So, you know, but that's by the by. Um, you know, they don't inhabit your body, so they're not going to know how you think and feel 24-7. So they might not always understand every little nuance of it. They might not understand why you slept for six hours more this time and then the next day you weren't sleeping at all. They might not understand why you did like some certain foods and now you don't. That you did like certain things and now you don't. That, you know, why your moods are up and down and why you're always swapping back and forth between mood, mood types and why your voice has, has gone from like down here to nice and soft and up here. You know, they might not understand that. Same with the dress sense. Like, you know, you've gone from, let's just say you've gone from the blokey bloke stuff. So like the ripped t-shirts and the oil stains and the you know, paint smears and all of that. 
to the more feminine, more girly stuff. So you've gone for more softer tones with your clothing. You've gone for more gender neutral or gender incongruous styles. You know, things like that. Why sometimes you may have regressed a bit with one of your style choices. Let's just say you were a goth emo for a while and you grew out of it. And then all of a sudden you've gone back to it because that was a more comfortable clothing feel. So, you know, you can always find a past style that worked for you, especially like if it was in college or a part of life where you felt more comfortable like that, especially when you've found yourself again. You know, there is bits like that. It's the same with little things why you may you know, like, some people out there may stop going watching sports if you weren't, weren't watching football. You might stop watching football or rugby. You don't really need to, but if you feel more comfortable not going there when you're in the middle of transitioning or when you're coming out, then that's perfectly fine. You know, you can take time away from things and then come back to it when you are feeling more mentally strong and mentally stable you know you don't always have to be right there for everything because if you need time away take time away you know it's it's one of the reasons why my talk with my mom is going to be at a shopping mall because it's away from home somewhere where we can both dive into a different world you know because there's other things around there's things to distract you you can go shopping you can go sit and have a meal you can go to the arcade you can if you can go watch a movie you can go do all sorts of other things you know one of the things that i wanted to do was originally when i was going to do this talk last year was go to the beach or go somewhere that's not home, somewhere quiet, but the quietness can sometimes bring in the awkwardness. So having more things around you to distract you sometimes is also a help. You know, you don't always have to worry or wonder what people are thinking because they will understand eventually. Yes, my mum was born in the 60s. I'm a product of the 80s. I did technically sort of find myself in the very early 2000s, but I did lock myself away for a little while when I came out in college. Not as trans, but I just came out as bi stroke gay. But, you know, Section 28 and all, as well as my education went on, on under Section 28. Even having an open school, we didn't really talk much about, you know, LGBT stuff. It was just, this is this, this is this, this is this. They are that. Off you go. Straight back in with the straight stuff. That's how life was. There wasn't exactly much that you could do at that point, but... Hey, that's just how life was, but just... Take it easy on family members. Don't think that they're ignoring you if they don't quite understand or they go quiet. If they don't, you know, if they don't ask a question that you were thinking they would ask, again, don't feel disheartened by it. Feel emboldened because sometimes them asking an off the cuff question or a question that might catch you off guard might actually break the ice a bit easier. You know, some of my jokes do get a little bit off, a little bit awkward sometimes. It's like, oh yeah, I wish I could cut them off. Yeah, because getting rid of one factory would allow the other thing to progress faster. That's just how it is. It's me. You know, yeah, I've technically always been a girl, but, you know, just don't stress, don't worry. Take it easy, things will flow. Don't overburden yourself with the worry and don't overburden other people. 
is worrying. You know, it's a stressful enough world as it is. You don't need to add to the stress. So be lighthearted, have a laugh, and take it easy. Because stressing over little things isn't worth it. There's bigger, badder things out there going on at the moment. You know, you don't need to overburden yourself with it. Just have a laugh and have fun. If it comes to it that you don't say everything that you want to say, then it doesn't matter. Because that will come in time, even if it means that you have to have a part two or a part three to these shopping days and these explanation days. It will all come together. You know, you don't have to burden yourself and you don't have to worry that they're just going to think, oh, you're a freak, because you're not. We're all freaks. Every single person on this planet is a freak. Everyone is a malfunction because life. <laughs> no one can understand the, the meaning of life and the meaning of why we're all here. So my outlook on that is that Life itself, the creation of life, or the creation of sentient life as in the human being, was a malfunction somewhere along the line. Everybody is a malfunction and everyone has a malfunction. Some people's malfunctions don't show like this. Some people's malfunctions are that they're deaf or, you know, I haven't got my glasses out here but these will do as an analogue. They need glasses. You know, there's some people that are mute. That's their malfunction. Some people's malfunctions are more mental. You know? But I don't mean malfunction as in the bad way. I mean, their malfunction is different because every person is a malfunction. Because there is nobody who is exactly the same. There is no true doppelganger. You might have someone with the same name, you might have someone that was born in the same in the same city, the same time, the same everything, but there is no true doppelganger. Even identical twins are not one hundred percent true doppelgangers because there is slight differences. That is where that nuanced malfunction comes into play. I'm going a bit too deep with the mindful thought and the science talk. I don't really want to go down that route because me and science have a very twisted ideology. Let's just say I know how to perfect and well I know how to do nuclear science and things like that but it's a bit too core nerdy. It's a little bit too core nerdy there you know but hey just have a nice day have an easy day have an easy way around it don't go too deep with everything and if it does end up on the deep side at least make it light you know make jokes crack jokes you know always self deferential is always good us brits are good at that because we're always good at taking the piss out of ourselves you know we're always good at that i'm <laughs> yeah i'm struggling with the voice i'm never i'm never really going to be able to withhold all of this up here all the time I do need to practice this more I have been going back and forth to the vocal clinic to do this and this is how far I've got because I'm so damn lazy that I'll just keep dropping it down here all the time but I know I need to go up here and be a bit softer and a little bit more more head voicing a bit more forward which I'm trying to do and I also need to overemphasize with the top lip which doesn't come quite easy because my top lip is quite numb especially because of having missing teeth and all but yes, overall, just be gentle with it, be easy with it, be very, don't be vague, be truthful, be light. You know, there is no one to blame, you're not to blame, parents aren't to blame, you're just the way you are. This is why I ramble on, because rambling is my forte. I did used to be a telesales artist, so. You have to have the gift of the gap in telesales, let's just say that. But yes, we all flow in a different way, we all malfunction in a different way. It's when you bring it together to become yourself. So be truthful to yourself and be truthful to everything.
there is no way, there is no blame to lay at the feet of anybody. Life is how it is and your circumstance is how it is. That's life. So for a 15 odd minute ramble, I will bid you adieu. Goodbye.